So today on Project Shop, I am lucky to be alive. And that is why, look at that. That is my steering arm. And uh, you can't really tell here, but if you look right there, this thing has been broken for a long time. And I think I know when it happened, probably about a year ago, something happened um, that broke something else on this truck, but I would have never suspected that that um, would have happened. And that last little shiny bit is what broke today. And what was happening is, uh, it's kind of crazy because I drove all the way down to Miami today, drove all the way back with a fully loaded trailer, and uh, I parked the truck, which required a lot of twisting and turning of the steering wheel and reverse and backing up. I parked the trailer, I mean, and then I was on my way somewhere just driving straight. I went to change lanes and something felt really funny with the truck. So I pulled over into uh, this place. I had my friend get out and uh, get in the truck and just rock the steering back while I got under it. I didn't even get a chance to get under the truck. And he gently touched the steering to one side and it snapped. Uh, which was crazy because we were just doing like 80 mile an hour on the highway um, So and where that broke even with a good inspection I don't think anyone would have seen that crack because when this is in the truck It's all the way up there and the only thing you can see is the bottom You know so even if you looked at this who would have thought that big old shaft would snap off like that this is super crazy and um, I'm gonna go ahead and uh, I got already a price on a box I can get it local for like uh, less than 200 bucks uh, reman uh, you just got to count the spines the guy said it's either a 32 or 36 or 33 something like that I don't know but we're gonna get a new box and we're gonna thoroughly inspect all the steering components um, and just an overall inspection under this truck and throughout the whole thing to make sure that uh, we're not missing anything else like this and I really uh, think I had an angel uh, above me today because uh, that could have been really bad on the highway pulling my trailer at 80 mile an hour and uh, lose your steering completely so uh, I got AAA on the way uh, if you guys do any type of driving around pulling a truck I highly recommend uh, Premier AAA with RV. It's like 160 bucks a year. You get like four service tows and they will tow your truck and trailer. I don't have my trailer with me now, but um, it's not an issue. And um, it's uh, saved me a lot of money right now because I'm already down probably half a day tomorrow, whatever it's going to take to change that, and 200 bucks. So um, yeah, we're going to get this back and uh, get it apart and uh, do a good inspection on it. Okay, we safely made it back to the house. AAA is awesome. Didn't cost me a dime. Guy was a little bit of a noob and at first told me he wasn't going to be able to tow the truck, but we worked it out. Um, actually pulled the front tires off uh, when he was picking this thing up. He was a little uh, undersized for the job, but still we got it done. So I just want to say, um, thinking about the whole situation and what just happened, and the fact that I pulled into a church parking lot. I just want to thank God and whatever angel was uh, overlooking me today because I was literally 10 minutes before that happened towing this trailer for like an hour and a half on I-95 at like 75, 80 mile an hour. And if that thing would have broke, it would have sent this, me and my truck, God knows where. Because it literally lost, I mean there was no steering man, what do you do? I mean, I don't even know what I would have done. What do you do when you lose steering? You know what I'm saying? Uh, and then thinking about, like, I was going over my head, what would I have done? If you would have hit the brakes, um, I don't know if you've ever been in a truck where you hit the brakes and sometimes it pulls. This truck really doesn't do that, but you never know, man. You hit the brakes, it could have pulled me right into the guy next to me or sent me into the wall or God knows what happened, man, you know? So, in a situation like that, I think if the truck, if you were going straight... Uh, and you just kind of let the truck slow down by itself um, That would be the best bet. I mean, I don't know God knows hope I never have to find out and uh, thank God for getting me to that church parking lot <laughs> So I called around it's like 180 bucks for the part 
Uh, it's down in there. I don't know if it's going to come out the top or the bottom. Looks like probably the bottom. I'm going to look into it real quick and uh, get this thing out and get this thing back on the road and do a thorough inspection on the rest of the steering and driveline components. So now we're up under the truck and you can really see with the light um, the spot that's been broken for a while how little was actually holding on and the the way this is designed man i don't think you would have actually seen that crack like who even looks for something like that that's so crazy i mean i'm gonna go check my other truck now <laughs> yeah you see that it's so crazy. I don't know how well that's coming through, but right there in that corner. Man, let me see. See that brown? That's rust. That whole side, more like it looks like 75, 80% almost has been cracked for a while, man. Like, I really have someone looking out for me. This is so crazy. So now what I got to do is I got to pull this off. Well, actually, I don't, yeah, I guess I'm going to have to pull this off or just figure out how to count them splines. I guess I can just count the splines here, but I got to get that off. I guess I could, at this point, just pound that straight through. Unless it's tapered, I don't know. But uh, I was just looking up at it. There's some bolts. The bolts actually are on this side. They're over here. So it actually looks like a simple job. Not too complicated, but uh, we'll... we'll uh, kind of think on this overnight and uh thank god many many more times that i'm still here and not in a wall somewhere or flipped upside down with my trailer on top of me or some crazy shit so on that note uh hug your family members and tell you love them if you come this far thanks for watching stay tuned we're gonna get this thing back on the road and knock out all them lights over there i got that's a small load there it's probably 1,600 or more coming.